was way deeper than I thought. <laughs> Did no. you find what you were looking for? No jacket for me. I had a winter jacket over in my stuff. And all of that stuff was supposed to get moved to the tool shed. Some of it, most of it got moved. We just don't, can't find that. And it's either buried too far under snow or frozen solid. So I guess I'm gonna have to buy a cover for this. Found my pink Carhartt, but that wasn't the one that I was wanting. Because it doesn't fit, because I got fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Big, fat, fluffy snowflakes. And they're falling like super slow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, if you wanted more snow in your life, I'm kind of done with all this snow. <laughs> it's an inside-ish work day. <laughs> okay, guys, so what we're gonna do today is um, tell you what we're planning on, gonna try to get done this week. Uh, we have a, we got a whole bunch of wood that we need to get split. Um, we got that done the other day with Darla and Randy and uh, we're gonna be getting some blood drawn on the goats to see if they're pregnant And we're gonna do some stuff in the shipping container. So come on. Let me show you Okay, so the plan is these doors are gonna be left completely open at all times um, And so we're gonna do framing on the inside so that they can close but basically they'll be left open unless there's a crazy storm that just needs to be closed. Um, we'll, we'll be putting this big, huge window that we got on the other side of the shipping container here. So we need to get the snow off of that and we need, we're gonna frame this in and put that up. So that's one of the first things that we're gonna do. But before that, we have the four by eight sheets of pink insulation, uh, the, the foam insulation that we're gonna glue to the side walls of the shipping container. Um, so we're gonna have to move all this wood and we do a lot of shifting of things and the reason for that is because we're just in a small space. If we had a garage or something like that, then we can put everything in those and pick out of it what we want. But that's one of the reasons why we try to only purchase things when we're getting ready to use them or for right now, because we're trying to beat a storm so we bought some stuff ahead of time. Um, but we're going to shift all of the wood so that we can work in this area, start with the styrofoam going down the sides, build this in, put the window in. So that's one of, that's what we're going to be working on um, in probably our next video. Um, and then we're going to finish the pink foam insulation on the walls and the ceiling of the, um, the shipping container part of this build. Um, and we're also going to be marking out where we're going to be putting um, other windows. So we have a, a couple other windows and the sliding glass door. We already know where that's going to be, but I don't want to cut those things out until we're ready to put the windows and the doors in. So we have to measure the windows that we have, figure out where they're going to go, frame for those, put the window in, <laughs> cut it out, and then put the window in. Same with the sliding glass door. And then if you look way back there in the back, we have some bats of insulation. And we'll be putting those up in the living room and the treehouse part so that we can get this insulated so that the wood stove will actually heat this area. Right now you're getting a lot of warmth right around the stove and that's about it. Um, so before we can pipe the heat over into the RV, um we've got to get this all insulated so that the heat will at least heat this area and then let me show you what we're going to do to get the uh, heat from here to the rv okay so you guys have commented a lot on the crap that we have in between the shipping container and the rv but what we're going to do is create a deck 
going from here to here. So there'll be a step down. Um, so they'll probably, it'll probably come out two feet and then step down so that we can get into the RV with just leaving this door open. And we'll have it covered so that we can then just slide open the sliding glass door and then the heat can come in from there. We do have a couple of uh, battery operated fans so we could blow the air into this particular area and keep this part warm. So this guy is actually gonna be a pillar for that, uh, that side up there and that'll be going up next year along with the other one that we had and I think that's supposed to go up right over here. Um, and it's frozen to the ground and super heavy so we chose not to move it we're just gonna have to get it out from underneath the deck uh, but the deck will be screwed on there so it'll be really easy to pop off move out of the way and continue with our wraparound deck that will go in next summer around the shipping container We're going to spend a little bit of time and try to get organized because I think it bothers you guys as much as it does me. <laughs> Had a whole lot of snow on that. <laughs> I'm glad we can work inside. Hold on, we got some lights. Let's show them to you. They're cool. So we picked these up at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. And you can't see, but they have magnetic on the back. So they just stick really well. We got three of them. So we can light this up. And work in here. Uh oh, that one's bad. It's drinking. It's a good spell. <laughs> <laughs> so we can actually work in here when it's dark. Um, adding that window is going to make a huge difference. I'm going to kind of walk through a little bit of our layout that we're going to do for you. Um, hopefully you can see me. So, we're going to have this end wall right here. And in front of that, we'll have our kitchen sink. And then they'll continue to be shelves in a U shape here. Or, um, not sorry, shelves, but cabinets in a U shape here all the way up to the closest point that we can get to this wood stove. So there'll be a small aisle way here, um, but it'll be enough to get in and out. It's still a very small kitchen, but it's way bigger than what we've been using, so I think it'll be really nice. Um, we're going to put a window here and a window here for sure. Possibly a window over here, but I don't think so. I think we're going to do some live edge shelving um, on this wall and then have white or clear or turquoise plates and bowls and stack the big things up like that, use those as decoration. Um, and then down here will be all the cabinets. So that'll, that'll keep this when you look in. It'll, it'll seem tight here on the bottom, but up in the top, I think that will open that all up. We voted on it, and because we think it's highly important for us to say happy, energetic, fun people, we're going to put in a coffee bar right here. <laughs> so on the other side of this stove, we are actually putting in a coffee and tea bar station um, that someone can be here making coffee, making tea, and not be invading the space of the person that's cooking or prepping. And then what we'll end up doing is continuing some cabinet space here and then probably a drop down table here. So you'll you'll kind of be trapped in the kitchen area when you're in the kitchen area but then this can be opened when it's not in use so it can be used as a breakfast bar or Kira can do her chain mail on here or I can edit. I can sit right here and edit. 
on the computer and that kind of stuff. There'll be a lot of light coming in from the sliding glass door and from these two windows back here um, to, uh, to, I think, make this a really good area. Again, it'll be far enough away, so if the, if the table comes down and our coffee station is right here, there'll be a walk space, but it'll be a, it'll be a thin walk space. Like, I can't eat a whole bunch of more cookies and candy, you guys. I had to wallow it. this. <laughs> Screw it. But, uh, that'll be the biggest table that we can fit in this area, and it will hinge up and get out of the way, and it'll drop down. Um, that, I think, will also help with clutter so that there's not like a bunch of stuff that's just left on it. The one thing I've learned about tiny space living is you got to put your stuff away <laughs> because otherwise it invades the space very, very quickly. So what's going to happen with these walls is we'll have one inch insulation and then the studs that we're using are two by three. So we're going to lose four inches on each side minimum plus our drywall and then whatever treatment we decide to do on the drywall, whether we paint it, finish it out and paint it, or we do a chip lap look or something like that. Um, so we're probably going to lose four and a half inches and four and a half inches, so nine inches total from this actual living space. But we have to do that in this area because we're not spray foaming and we need the insulation to keep the building uh, comfortable. So cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Um, so what you're going to see happen while we're doing this framing here next is we're not going to frame around here. This is actually going to be left open to the metal for now. Um, there's a possibility once we get the rest of this insulated and finished that we can pull the stove out regardless of the temperature, use some of our space heaters, keep this area warm, and come back in here and finish framing this out. I have a friend that welds, you guys know him, Randy, and he, we're going to cut this out to a full square, weld it in, and get this attached to that frame. Um, so that it's, you know, that it's uh, in there the way that it's supposed to be uh, versus how it is now. Otherwise, we have to come through with a wooden um, frame, framing material or material here. And that is a possibility. We still may do that um, instead of doing the other. We're just going to have to see how it goes. And I'm going to have to do a little bit more um, research on it. I know that they put these in wooden big frame houses. So that is something that you can do. And then we're going to insulate behind here with fire retardant insulation that is specifically for this use. And then we will have another one of these concrete um, boards put on the wall. And then we will be doing some kind of finish, a brick, um, a faux brick, or something like that, some kind of look behind that particular area. Um, so then we'll have the coffee station, and then the next thing that you guys will see will be the sliding glass door and then the entry into the uh, living room. Okay, so right here will be the sliding glass door, which is directly across from the entryway into the living room area. We're going to beef this up with some kind of wood. Um, rustic wood looking thing <laughs> uh, probably in the spring we'll take some four inch round trees debark them cut them to this thing and flip them over and then have something going over this um, in general this is going to look fairly modern um, but then it will have some really cool country accents to it that's kind of my plan with it i want it to be very clean and very sleek um, so this area obviously won't really have any furniture or anything in front of it because it's like a breezeway. It gets you in and out kind of thing. We may possibly have some small chairs in this section so that when the, um, the table comes down, there's a couple of chairs that you could easily pull up to that table to have some cereal or something like that. But there will, the bathroom is next and there's going to be a hallway through the center. And we'll have the shower on one side and the toilet and sink on the other. This will still be a composting toilet. Um, but 
but probably a little bit of an upgrade from the bus <laughs> is the hope. Um, but those composting toilets cost around a thousand dollars so it will definitely be something that we're saving up for and i think what's going to happen is somewhere in this section is where we're going to have to put the um we're going to have on-demand hot water heater so that doesn't take up a huge amount of space um, but there's the components that you have to have for getting your electricity into your building so all of that stuff there's got to be a closet in here that will contain some of that um, and then beyond that will be the bedroom and most likely there will just be a window on the front side of the shipping container so along the same wall with the sliding glass door um, back in there we may possibly come back and add a window all the way in the back so that there's a little bit more view um, the one thing that I've heard people say is put in as many windows as you can so that you don't feel super, super confined in. And so that was kind of our plan with like this humongous window in the back area. And we were going to put a window on this opposite wall side, but we decided not to because the door gives us that full window. And then we have that huge window back there and that gives us a solid wall to do stuff with either a TV or something like that um, but that's the living room the deck we will be adding a deck on the outside that goes around that tree out there that is a covered area a lot of you have mentioned because I wanted to make the door opening out that you wouldn't want to do that because of snowfall da 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 well we don't have that issue because that's a covered deck um, and then that would give us more room to the actual living room area um, not that we would be putting anything in front of that, but you wouldn't, we could use this corner maybe a little bit more or something like that. So, um, I'm probably going to end up swapping that door around to an opening out versus opening in, but we're just not going to do it right now. We'll see how this works, um, as far as our layout and, um, couches and chairs and stuff like that. And then we'll make that decision in the future, but I think that'll be a pretty simple, a simple change. Um, and then of course we have. The second bedroom, which is upstairs in the treehouse area, and that is considered the master bedroom in little finger quotes, um, which you can't see because I got my little gloves on. Um, and then there's one door going out. There will be a finished deck eventually over the shipping container on both sides. And then you have the deck that's over um, this area at the back door. So there's a big deck up there. Uh, and that's just a bedroom and maybe a small office that I can do voiceovers in and that kind of stuff for the other extra videos and that kind of stuff. Another thing that we really want to do is add, and I mentioned this earlier, a wraparound porch. It's probably only going to be four or five feet wide. Um, so enough for some chairs, a little bit of movement around. Um, but then, you know, you can be outside on the on the ground or whatever for maybe we'll do some pavers or something like that in front of that on the ground but um, that's basically our plan for the layout for the shipping container um, I had drawn it out and put it in another video and maybe I'll try to get a better drawing of that for you in the future but that is what we're planning on doing um, for this throughout this winter and finishing this inside area this winter and then working on the deck in the spring along with some other projects that we have here on the farm so i don't know i hope i hope that answers all the questions you guys have <laughs> and if you don't if it didn't uh put it in the comments below and uh, i'll try to get get with you on that um i am learning how to do all of these things as we go so it's definitely taking a little bit longer um, but it's an experience that i need i need to learn these things first and that's basically what this was all about instead of jumping into a big house build doing something smaller like this it it fills a bill as far as i will have a guest space later um, it gives us something a bigger area to live in now instead of the rv and just a little bit more comfortable and that kind of stuff so um if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video uh, i hope that you would consider subscribing it truly helps us out please make sure you hit that thumbs up button because that also helps a whole lot and tell me where you're from or if you've done this 
Um, I definitely watch all the other YouTubers that are doing these tiny house uh, shipping container builds, um, but let me know if you're someone that's doing one. Hey guys, thanks for watching Hi. the video. We appreciate you. We're opening up some boxes. We got two more left. We're only gonna open up one on this one though. So you have to come back tomorrow to watch the other one. See what we got. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna thank everybody that has sent us gifts um, and gift cards and cash. <laughs> I mean, we can say about cash. Uh, we, thanks guys. We so appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, it's... now, we all know what to do. We're gonna open another box. We're gonna open another box. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna open another box, and it's from you. <laughs> you All right, all right. Let's see. This one does not say who it's from on the outside that I can tell, but we know it's for us. <laughs> you. It's Me. your turn. My turn. This is fun take, though. Amazon. Oh, so she's opening it the right way with scissors, <laughs> yes. really? I did. Did you see that? It was like, whoosh, and we're done. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I it was easy. And no one got hurt. Let's see. It's heavy. And happiness delivered. Spread the joy. Gift snap. Box. <gasps> what? Snacks. You guys know us so well. <laughs> we love stacks. Oh my gosh. <gasps> well, <laughs> let me throw them on the floor. It is a box. That is a big box of snacks. Of snacks. It's a box of goodies. Kira, enjoy your snacks. Hope you like them from Lucy Lucky. I you love too, you. Vera. We love you. Yes. <laughs> This is our Texas girl. I love you. She sent us a Texas Roadhouse gift card, <laughs> right? So that means Kira gets the box of snacks and you and I are going to Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> exactly. <Merry Christmas. laughs> we'll share. That's wonderful. <laughs> we share. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's a hard trade. Do I want to go get meat or do I want the whole snacks? <laughs> All right. You're Thank awesome. you. You're Good awesome. night. Bye. <laughs>